when we launched this content creation business, guys, we were dumpster diving. We were living on food assistance. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to sell portions of the farm and still not know how we're gonna make it. Or my family's not gonna eat. I sat down and I, I searched the internet. How do you create a streaming platform? Ta-da. A lot of times in life, you have epiphany moments and you don't recognize it. You have critical decisions that change the route of your life and you don't recognize it at the time, but looking back, you see it. That was one of those special moments. It's easy to play clips like that, but we all know, including the guy in that clip, Justin Rhodes, that scaling a business takes work. Scaling a creator business when you're the only one working on it in your free time can be even more work, but it's totally doable. And don't worry because anyone can do this and this video can help get you moving in the right direction. You need to start by thinking about how to make more money from your efforts. For a lot of video creators, there's a natural progression when it comes to monetizing. This usually starts with tips, donations, and affiliate links. With a little bit of traction, it's time for platform monetization, like joining the YouTube Partner Program to make money from ads played on your videos. From there, you'll have the opportunity to cash in on brand deals and sponsorships before exploring other tiers like your own products, which is most commonly merchandise of some sort. These are all pretty standard revenue streams for a video creator business. But what most creators find is that even with all of these revenue streams, it may not be enough money to leave a stable day job and go full-time creating content. That can be tough to swallow when you've been sold the dream of making fun content for a living and spending the majority of your days sipping drinks on the beach. So how do you scale your revenue without dramatically increasing the amount of time, effort, and money being put into the business? We have some solid options for you, but remember, you have to do what is right for you, your brand, and your creator business, and that might be different for everyone. Transactional simply refers to things that are one-time purchases. You've definitely seen these in the form of consumer packaged goods like coffee, drinks, food, camera gear, and even pizza sauce. It can also take the form of digital goods like an online course, pay-per-view live stream, downloadable PDFs, eBooks, worksheets, etc. Digital goods are great because the cost to create and make them is lower than physical goods. You can create a PDF of a 12-week workout plan in a couple hours, get someone on Fiverr to help with the design for about $50 or less, and have it up for sale within hours hours of having the idea. One-time products are relatively easy to sell because they're priced affordably and are great impulse buys, but the revenue is one and done. So if you're not generating sales, you're not bringing in any revenue. The chances of someone buying a sweatshirt or a workout program from you on a predictable recurring basis are low. Subscription revenue is generated from recurring purchases from your audience. The beauty of subscription revenue is that even if you don't get new sales, you still have revenue coming in from previously purchased memberships. The subscription approach can apply to physical goods like paying for a coffee subscription from your favorite roaster who then sends you a new bag of beans every month. Or you might be more familiar with subscription boxes like HelloFresh or FabFitFun. But as you might imagine, the cost associated with running a subscription operation of physical goods like that might be cost prohibitive for creators with smaller audiences or less disposable income. Where subscriptions really shine is with digital products. Off the top of your head, how many digital subscriptions are you currently paying for? Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV+, HBO Max, Disney+, ESPN+, and the list goes on and on and on. If you're like many of us, you probably have a few, including a couple based around hobbies you might have like cooking or working out or meditation or maybe even business or education. That's because they're typically affordably priced so the barrier to entry is low, especially when the value provided outweighs the cost of the subscription. Memberships are great for a few reasons. They provide recurring, predictable, and sustainable revenue for your creator business. The prices of these memberships vary from creator to creator, but most of them are competitively priced in a way that makes it easy for customers to justify the cost. While you may not get a massive lump sum of cash up front, what you do get is revenue that you can count on. And each new customer that joins is adding into the monthly revenue that you're bringing in. 
The better news is that the cost of getting started is a bit more approachable than physical goods. While the cost of running a membership business can increase over time, it doesn't have to. You can keep costs relatively flat while continuing to scale the number of members you have to a seemingly infinite horizon. You also don't have to worry about revenue splits like with AdSense on YouTube or affiliate commissions. Memberships aren't without their challenges, but we're confident that you can crush it. With memberships, there's an expectation and understanding that over time, you'll continue to add more new content. That means continued production and investment into the business. If you're not careful, this can snowball into burnout. You have to find a pace and cadence that works for your business and for you. A great way to hedge against that is by planning ahead in a way that's sustainable for you as a creator. On the upside, adding more new content means that as you invest into your membership, it becomes inherently more valuable as the catalog of content grows and matures. Remember Justin from the beginning of this video? Well, a little over six years ago, he and his family were dumpster diving for food and living on food stamps and government assistance welfare programs. But that same year, he started a YouTube channel to share more about his family's homesteading journey. And over the last six years, they've put in the work to build their audience on YouTube, and today they bring in six figures per month just from their membership site, Abundance Plus. But it didn't take them six years to pull themselves out of the dumpster. They've been making good money from their creator business for more than four years. People see me and they, they see the success and you see, hear me talking about these business strategies and stuff. This is what I wanna tell people. I knew nothing, I knew zero, but we're in the information age, my goodness. You can find out anything you want in just seconds. I say in homesteading, just plan. It's, it's after the just do it Nike mentality. Just, I'm serious, just, just do it. Stop thinking so much, just do it. And you don't have to have hundreds of thousands of followers to bring this strategy to life. Francis Long, the face behind your book of memories, makes videos about scrapbooking. With 28,000 subscribers on YouTube, she's been able to not just go full time on her membership site, but also retire her partner as well. And it's amazing because Uscreen took off so much to the point where he only works one day a week now. So I make enough for both of us to just basically, we're like retired at like 27 years old. Want to learn more about how to get started with your own membership site? You need to watch the video on screen right now to breathe life into your dreams. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.